Hi, hello, I'm Lynn Carlson, a licensed independent clinical social worker with Nystrom and Associates. And I wanna to talk today about tips and suggestions for parenting during this time of hybrid or online learning. Um, we can, through self-care, build resilience to meet the challenges that we're, that we're looking at this year. Um, so self-care, meaning uh, taking some time for yourself, be it petting the dog or um, using some aromatherapy or some favorite, favorite thing you like to do to treat the environment, we can make space to find the grace that, we, that we're looking for to rise up to the challenge. Um, so again, taking a little bit of time, exercise, walking the dog, petting the dog, um, feeding the cat, gotta, gotta make space for the cats too. So um, we can by, oh, I don't know, using aromatherapy, a, a favorite lotion, having a cup of tea. I kind of like that Earl Grey. Maybe we're adding some honey. Um, maybe we're hydrating with our water bottle that we've got nearby. Uh, but by taking care of ourselves and using whatever time we can find in the day, um, and by self-compassion, telling yourself that you don't have to be perfect. You're, we're actually exemplifying um, the idea that we don't have to be perfect and that um, there can be benefits to taking some risks. Kids can learn that they can go further in life if they're willing to find new strengths and try new things through that discovery of their of what they risk, risk doing. Um, PositivePsychology.com also shares the idea that by um, virtue of the four S's, by seeking social support, seeking solutions, strategizing, and um, by the use of sagacity, we can rise to the challenge. Um, so let me explain those a little further. Strategizing would be that we're looking to what we've maybe done in the past that was successful. Um, social support, we're, we're maybe calling our mom. <laughs> we're, we're calling important others, uh, be it a friend or maybe you're looking up that therapist that you that you may have worked with in the past. Um, so strategizing, use of social support, sagacity, which would be drawing from your intuitive wisdom um, to gain courage and hope uh, in cutting yourself a break like you would kindly do for someone else. Um, so then the fourth thing would be through being a solution seeker, seeking out new information, planning ahead for success, uh, positive psychology, um, by being practical and thinking about um, things like the HALT method. Uh, is my kiddo hungry? Are they angry or frustrated with that new math maybe? Hmm. Um, are they lonely? Missing their friends a little bit, maybe lending an ear, huh? Asking them how they feel, making plans for them to call their friend later that night to connect. Um, so if they're hungry, angry, lonely, or tired, so taking a break, maybe getting a drink of water, we're back to hydration. Um, it helps kids, they, they do that in schools. So they'll take kids to the drinking fountain and hydrate them. Um, the stretch break, getting oxygen into their blood helps us be problem solvers. Um, so, don't forget, I would also add to have fun because humor heals. Um, laughter relaxes and also brings in oxygen like stretching does, um, stretches our belly. So bring in oxygen um, to be a problem solver and to continue putting your best foot forward through that self-care, self-compassion, and by building resilience. Um, so together we can do it. Parents and kiddos, have a great school year. Thank you.